Hello learners, this is Meg Phelps here to talk with you today about transitions. So let's have an overview. We're going to talk about what transitions are, why are they important, we have a few examples, we'll talk about where to use them, the guide to writing effective transitions, a couple of tips, and then we'll do a recap. So what are transitions? Transitions are like bridges in writing and they connect one idea to a uh, one idea or paragraph to the next. They help the reader follow your thoughts smoothly. They link different parts of your writing and they make it easier for the reader to understand how your ideas are related. They also connect one paragraph's idea to the next and help the reader follow your arguments or narrative smoothly. Why are they important? They help your writing flow better so it's not choppy or disjointed. They guide the reader from one idea to another smoothly. And I know I've said this a couple of times now, but you need to understand that's super duper important, right? We need to know how your ideas are related and why. So they show that relationship between those ideas in your paragraphs. So here are just a few examples. So if you're adding information, you can always say, additionally, we found that if you want to show contrast, you could say, however, despite the results, if you want to indicate cause and effect, as a result, the experiment was, or concluding. Overall, the data supports. So where to use them? You have options. You can use them at the beginning of your paragraphs or between sentences within a paragraph, wherever you need to show a connection between ideas. Now, trend, you can use transition words in the beginning of a paragraph as well, so you do have some options. So here's a simple guide to writing effective transition sentences. The first step is to review the main points, right? Look at the main point of the paragraph you're finishing and the main idea of the paragraph you're starting. Look at the whole main idea of your paper. Are you reflecting those points in what you're saying? Find and identify those connections. Look at how the ideas relate. What is the link between the two ideas? If you are talking about dogs in one paragraph and cats in another paragraph, the idea that might link these two, pets. So consider how are those ideas related? How do they link together? Are you adding more information? Are you contrasting ideas? Are you showing cause and effect? Are you summarizing? Are you concluding? Identifying this is gonna help you move forward and it's going to alleviate some of the stress associated with writing these kinds of transition sentences. And the next step is of course to create the transition. So try to write a sentence that highlights this relationship and leads the reader into the next paragraph. Consider using repeated important words in the final sentence of one paragraph and in the first sentence of the next. So if it's about um, nursing and self-care, maybe your final sentence mentions something about self-care, but then the first paragraph of the following sentence will also mention self-care. So then that one word links those two ideas because we know both of those paragraphs have something to do with self-care. Here are a few tips for effective transition sentences. As usual at Nightingale, we want to be clear and concise. Make sure the connection between the paragraphs is obvious and easy to follow. And consider your word choice. How can you state that more simply? How many words did it take you to explain that idea? Is there a way to say it in an easier fashion for everybody to understand? So being clear and concise is gonna be super important. Make sure to vary your transitions. Use different types of transition sentences to keep your writing interesting. Make sure not to follow the subject verb format every single time. I was, it was, we were, they did, right? You can use that, but we don't wanna use overuse them, right? Variety is important here. And consider occasionally starting your sentences with a dependent clause or a gerund, like swimming and jumping and reading and something like that, right? So you have some options. Just try and keep your eyes open when you're doing this and consider what variations you can add to your writing to make it more interesting. And you want to maintain that flow. You want to ensure the transition sentence naturally leads into the next paragraph without feeling forced. Make sure to read both paragraphs out loud. See how they sound together. Do the ideas flow? Did it make sense to you? Have you shown how the ideas in these paragraphs relate to each other? If you haven't, now's a good time to go back and start revising. Let's do a recap. So transition sentences are important because they help the reader understand how your ideas fit together and they help to improve the overall flow of your writing. By using transition sentences, you can make your writing more cohesive and easier to read which guides your audience through your ideas smoothly. Thank you so much.